Well, hello everybody. I'm Paul and welcome again to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Going to be a little bit of a different uh, video today. Going to be a cooking video, but we're not starting off in the kitchen like we usually do. Starting off here because I just wanted to show you where I'm getting the recipe from. And that's from this book here. It's from 19, copyright 1992. I'm sure it's still available, but uh, Fit for a King, the Elvis Presley cookbook I've had for a while. Um, it's kind of a cool book, you know, it's got a lot of little pictures and little anecdotes on just about every page. You can randomly go to just any page and you'll see picture and anecdote, picture and anecdote on every page. So it's kind of cool. And um, some of the recipes came from his uh, his personal cook, and her name was Alvina Roy, and she wrote the forward here. And I thought I'd just read you the very last paragraph real quickly. It says, as I look back to when I worked for Elvis Presley as his cook, I become somewhat sentimental. It was a pleasure, and I will cherish those memories forever. I hope that these recipes will create new memories. I am now retired and living in Southern California in the home Elvis bought for me. Elvina Roy, January 1992. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I, I've often heard that the king was very generous to his um, family and friends and things like that. So uh, that he would do that for her. I thought that was a pretty stand-up kind of thing. So, um, you know, we're just going to do a real fun recipe here. I think it's on, like, page 162, I believe it was. And it's going to be the famous um, peanut butter and banana sandwiches, fried sandwiches. So, it's going to be a treat. So, anyway, let's jump right into it. We'll take you over to the kitchen and uh, see what we can't do. First time I've ever made it, so it's going to be fun. Let's go. All right, guys, according to the recipe, calls for two ripe bananas. And it says to blend it with a quarter cup of peanut butter. And I actually don't know how the best way to go about blending the two. So I guess we're just going to try this. Try a little spoon method here. Stir them off. Fingers always work. Kind of messy, but what are you going to do? There. Took us a while, but we got it. There we go. Now we want our quarter cupish or so of peanut butter. I must say. That looks like about a quarter cup or so. Maybe a little extra. That's alright. Alright, now we'll mix these two. At first I was going to say it looks like too much banana to a peanut butter ratio. I put in a hair bit extra of peanut butter and still looked like that was going to be the case, but now I guess it looks about right, I guess. I said I've tried these before. It looks pretty good. We can work with that. Now let's heat up our uh, pan. All right, guys, let's put a little mixture while we're waiting for our butter to get good and hot. Let's go ahead and put some on here. It smells good. Of course, if you've seen my other video where I called it the proper way to eat peanut butter, you'll see I like peanut butter and bananas as a snack by themselves. 
So this is just going to be a neat little extension onto that. Uh, maybe that's how the king would like it. I don't know. Alright, let's take it over to the frying pan. Alrighty, we got some butter going here on medium heat in our old cast iron frying pan. Let's lay some bread down on her and see what happens. They said, uh, I don't know, probably a couple minutes aside, I think. I'm not sure if they said it or I'm just guessing that, I guess. Love that smell of that butter. Okay, guys, let's have a look. See, I'm seeing some brown. Give it a little flip. Oh, that's all right. It's looking good. Maybe we'll put that one back over for a little bit. Could actually move them around, pick up some, some fresh butter. Mm hmm. Nothing wrong with that, guys. Looking good. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Let's flip it right over. Looks about right. It's better to flip too often than not enough. I say. I like to keep moving them around too. In case your pan's got a hot spot. Alright. They're looking good. Let's plate them up and we'll give it the true test. Alright guys, the food is made. We've got our ice cold glass of milk. you got to have milk with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I'm assuming the same goes for a peanut butter and banana sandwich. And um, may as well jump right into it and... Uh, they are nice. They're not greasy, not buttery, you know, not dripping. And it smells delicious. <laughs> Good. What's there not to like about it? <laughs> Tasty. They really are. They're good. I just thought it might be um, a fun treat, you know, if you want to spend a few minutes and uh, especially some of the dads out there, if you want to do a little cooking with your son or daughter, make a neat little treat, why not? Except I would love to do it with Ben or Sis and can't do it. They both have the peanut allergy, so if you've got a son or daughter, Spend some time with them. Cook up a batch of these. Nothing to it. But they're good and fun. That's the main thing. Build memories. Memories that will last, you know, long after you're gone. So, that's what it's all about, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by the channel. And for your support. For interacting with me in the comments. <clears throat> I just think it's a, a really special thing that we're able to... Uh, come together and um, just talk like this. and I enjoyed the heck out of it. I hope you guys do too, and I will see you soon.